G'day people, I hope you're having a great day today, everything's going your way. Okay, what we've got for you today is the Mac B61, old school uh, truck, and as you can see, definitely lives up to that title. I love the looks of this truck, and it definitely uh, brings back the era of the old style trucks. So uh, what you can do with this truck is you've got, I'll do a quick review for you so you can have a good look at it. So what, what you can do is you've got the one chassis, uh, the one cabin only, but on your chassis you've got three different chassis. You've got the 4x2, which is this one you're looking at right now. You've got the uh, 6x4 long, in case you want the long chassis. And then you've got the 6x4 standard. Now with the long and the standard, if you go back to your cabins, you're actually getting the sleeper with it. The sleeper's not attached to the actual cabin. So uh, in real life, what you do is get out of the truck, open this door and hop in and go to sleep. So you can't actually access the, cabin, uh, the sleeper from inside the cabin. So, yeah, like I say, so you've got the uh, choice of sh uh, chassis. And then when you choose the 6x4, you've got the choice of a sleeper or no sleeper. I prefer it without the sleeper, but that's my choice. And uh, I just think it just looks better that way. Then you've got, as far as motors go, or engines, standard it comes with the Cummins 444, uh, 444 horsepower. Uh, but it also comes with quite a few other choices. Uh, a lot of these choices are mods that I've added, but there are extra motors with it as well. Uh, gearbox, it comes with the standard 10 speed uh, with a diff of 6.34. But again, you can change that to whatever you prefer. Um, you've right up to your 20 speed, 5.78. Then. You've got your dash, which is just the single dash or interior. But again, it keeps up the, uh, the style of the old school. And when it comes to paint jobs, this is where you spoil for choice. You go through these, you've got, yeah, you've got a lot. <laughs> so you've got the Joseph Briley, the Northwest Timber, the Army Canada, don't like that one. And you've got all these different colours. Boeing, I like that one because it keeps with the old school theme. Cat, Caterpillar, uh, Coca-Cola, not particularly fond of that one. Uh, colours, uh, John Deere, that's put together well. US Army, which I really do like and is one that I went for. Caroline Freight Carriers, Krauss, Cartage Company, Coca-Cola. This one's not too bad. Hests. Uh, what have we got? Flying Service. Golf. Hess. Kodak. Mobile Gas. Like that one. Then you've got um, Aviation. Phillips Aviation. NIDA. Shell. Standard. Texaco. Like that one. Union. Werner, Mickey D's, or Maccas, whichever you prefer to call it, Navajo, Pan Am, Preston, Union, I think, the, oh, yeah, then you've got Walmart, and then you've got the designs by the creator themselves. Some of them are nice, some of them I don't like. Then you've got Pepsi Color, I like that one. And then you've got more colours. So you definitely spoil for choice when it comes to paint jobs. Uh, as far as customization on the exterior, it's very limited, but it doesn't need a great deal because it's a great looking truck. Most of these ones are inter interior slots, so uh, it looks like there's an awful lot, but there's not a great deal on the exterior. You can change things like bumper and grill and, uh, and the guards 
Uh, you can put a couple of horns on the top and some lights. That's about it. Uh, and, of course, you can change the exhaust. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the interior, it's much the same. It's um, fairly minimal. But, again, there's the standard stuff, that, you, and that's all you really need. You've got the steering wheel. You've got two choices, two sizes. And you've got different colours that you can go with for your dash and the trim. Uh, you can also add some switches uh, and some lights. Where are we? He's got some gauges. And up here, where is it? I think it's that one there, actually. Yeah, you can put some more switches. And then you've got your normal dashboard stuff and interior colors, seat colors can be changed as well. That's quite, yeah, quite a little bit. And hanging items, bun visor, the normal stuff. Change the colour of your uh, your sun visors there. So yeah, so you've got a bit of uh, customization that you can do. Hop back outside. But um, what we'll do is um, we'll jump out of here and I'll show you the how I've set mine up. As you can see, it's done in the U.S. Army colours. Yeah, it looks quite good. Now with this truck you can also get some trailers with it or it comes with the trailers I should say and you've got two types of trailers it, com it comes with um, it comes with the rusty old one and then the restored one here now with the restored one uh, with the rusty old one there's not much you can do to it this is a rusty old one but with the uh, restored one You've got quite a few paint jobs that you can go with. The only thing that's very weird about the way they've set this up is that uh, the paint jobs don't match up, or should I say the titles don't match up with the paint jobs. As it says here, Harvin's Big Rig, and unless that's Harvin's Big Rig, then it's, yeah, something's wrong. And this is supposed to be Hess. And it's standard. This is supposed to be rhymes, and it's flying gasoline or flying service. And this is supposed to be shell, but it's golf and so forth. U.S. Army, which is one again I chose. Texaco, which becomes something else. Phillips. Union, which is mobile gas. Heartbreak is about the one that, and only one that actually matches up. And it's quite a nice uh, design. Ah, okay. So that's Harvin's big rig. Anyway, so now you get the idea. And with, with customizations as far as the uh, tanker itself goes, you've basically got the rims and the bumper. So again, not a lot of customization, but you don't really need it. It's stylish enough as it is. So we'll hop outside and we'll get ourselves a job and we'll see how it performs. We're in price at the moment, so let's see what we've got. Crude oil, 16 tonnes, going from price to Ogden. I think that one will do. It's a nice medium-sized trip. So we'll set the GPS. We'll hop in the truck. We'll, uh, get started. I may be the vice president of America, but you're the president of this car, and it's time to take action. Put old Morgan Freeman on us. Where to go? Oh, okay. What we'll do before we do that is I'll quickly jump outside and let you have a look at how I've set up the trailer and the uh, the truck with the. Uh, U.S. Army and, or sorry, U.S. Army Air Force tanker and the U.S. Army truck. Now I've sort of kept with the style of rims. So try and keep the theme. All right. Let's get going. Now, 
a lot of you will probably say, yeah, uh, but uh, this truck wouldn't have come with that size motor or whatever. Well, that's true, but we're not in that era. So if somebody had purchased this truck, it, you know, in this era that we're in right now, they would probably update the motor and put something bigger in it and beef it up a little bit so that they could um, pull the loads that we uh, are pulling today. So therefore, it sort of does keep with the theme that it's a restored truck and a restored trailer. Because you'll notice that a lot of the guys that do um, truck restoration will put the bigger motors in it and the 18 speeds and and so forth. Turn left. But you have the, all the normal animations, as you can see with the uh, indicator and with your light switch. So you've got all that. Uh, Not sure what the other one on the other side is. <clears throat> but I know it's animated. <laughs> I just can't remember what uh, what it actually is. Headlights off. <laughs> when I was showing you, I turned the headlights off and uh, got to turn them back on, and I got fined for not having my headlights on. Turn left. Well, the uh, one thing turn I don't left. like about, well, not maybe the one thing, there's a few things I don't like, but there's a lot I do like about the truck. But one of the things I don't like is the positions of the um, the uh, the side mirrors, the main mirrors, mainly because they, to me, they're quite a way out, and I like to drive with the uh, side mirror in view. But in the good thing is the uh, front mirrors at the front of the truck. Turn right. uh, yeah, you can use them as side mirrors without a problem. Okay. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you through this mission. Where's the pickup? <clears throat> and it's over here somewhere. I would say it's up behind these tanks. Yep. Straighten it up. Kick that out too far. Let's see. No, nope, just right. Get in there. 
All right. We'll load up with crude oil and then we'll be on our way. The American people are counting on you to drive. Let's go. So yeah, the, the uh, truck handles extremely well. It feels great to drive. Everything responds well. And yeah, before we continue, the uh, yeah, you, the animation of the handbrakes works well. Again, your indicators. Now I'm just trying to remember uh, what that is. Maybe no, not that. The time has arrived, President Wazer. Okay, I'm not sure what the lever on the right of the steering wheel is for, but I do know it is animated at this time, present time. I can't remember what it is, so unfortunately I can't show you um, animating. <laughs> and like I say, this looks the part. I mean, it comes together well. And like I say, it rides on the road really well. I can't see or feel any glitches or problems with it. And I like I say, apart from the uh, the mirrors being in a bad position for me, anyway, um, there's really not a, a hell of a lot that's wrong with it. When I uh, first took the truck out with the um, with the standard motor, it felt a little underpowered, but um, and you know that's just being really nitpicky. Apart from that, it was um, it was fine. Oh, that's what it probably is. The weeper scrapers. Yes. It's the windscreen wipers. That's what the uh the other lever was. And the only reason I remembered that was because the clouds are looking a bit dark over there and I thought, well, it might rain soon. Keep left. And then turn left. Turn left. Like I say, I'm using those front mirrors as my uh, side mirrors at the moment because they uh, they do the job adequately. Not a problem at all. Yeah, I have to say I'm not really um, taken by the, the position of the windscreen wipers. They seem to sort of be in an awkward position there, but that's where they stop. But again, I'm just trying to pick things because there's not an awful lot to pick about the, the truck. I mean, everything's, um, everything's just in the right place and does the right job. And now I'm speeding.
Let's put some music on. Some background music. Yes, you have to be careful with music in your videos on YouTube. Um, I get pinged for copyright nearly every mo uh, video I make, but the thing is, every bit of music I use is copyright free. I download it from Pixabay or Mixfit, I think it's called. I can't remember the names. Anyway, I'll put, I always put the uh, att attribution in uh, the description. And each time I get uh, pinged for copyright, I just explain to the uh, guys at YouTube that's where I get it from, and then they uh, take the copyright infringement off. But it's a bit of an annoyance that I've got to do it in nearly every um, video that I have music in, especially when they know that every movie, every video I, I use music in, it's all copyright free. But it's just one of those things. I'd say it's just an automated thing that picks up on it. Let's pop out on the roof. Whoa! <laughs> Oops! Yes, don't try that at home. <laughs> that was close. Trying to give you a look at the truck and the trailer. And then that happens. It nearly happens to me every time. Did learn my lesson. I'll try again. Yes, and I think I've got finally got this sound on my videos to meld together now. It used to be that the engine sounds were too loud or the exterior sounds were too loud or my mic kept cutting out, but now it seems to be fine. Continue straight. Oh, at least I hope so. If it's not, please tell me in the comments and I'll attempt to fix it. Yeah, it just looks, yeah, this looks the part. So yeah, what do you think of the truck, Keep people? Right. I think it's uh, one that you wouldn't mind um, downloading for yourself.
Yeah, if you keep, as you can see, if you look at those front mirrors, they do a great job of showing you um, what's happening behind you. But it's a definite pro to the uh, to the mod. And like I say, it sits on the road really well. Doesn't seem to have any um, issues. I even like the horn. It sounds like it's from the era. <laughs> Old school. And I have driven it overnight and the lights are fine. The uh, low beams are quite bright, high beams are sufficient, so there's no problems there either. Dash lights are bright enough so you can make everything out. at it on the road if I can keep it on the road Yeah, it's not easy doing this, driving from the side view, <laughs> just hope that nothing popped up in front of you. And like I say, the trailer, whoops, is, um, whoops, i got to exit here. Nothing beside us, nope. Excellent. One thing I like about driving in America, the turn right on red. You don't get that here in Australia. Keep right. Yes, here in Australia, you've got to stop in the story. Just makes it so much easier if you can turn on the red. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with this. I'd have to say it's uh, one of my favourite old school trucks. And, uh, I've also got a, coming up in one of my next videos, a, um, another Mac, I think it is. It's a cab over. 
that I downloaded from a new modder. It's quite interesting. It has a couple of little um, glitches. But as he says, it's a, a work in progress and he knows that there might be a few little bugs with it. Um, but all in all, from what I've seen so far, it seems like a nice truck. But again, that's uh, in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. And uh, you get to have a look at that. It also comes with um, trailers, which is a you know, which is a nice thing because then um, you can match those trailers as far as the uh, style of the truck and colour scheme and so forth, and it just makes for a nicer package. Keep left, and then turn left. Yeah, the interiors, I've chosen the sort of greyish interior. Um, it just comes up really well. Yeah, it's just a fun truck to drive. Brings feelings of nostalgia. <laughs> Turn left. Okay, we'll go and drop off. See how much we get paid. Four hundred meters. Turn right. See if we're on time. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you through this mission. Where do they want us to park? Over there. Okay. Swing out wide, come in straight, and hopefully do it in between the marker. Beautiful. Come back outside, have a look. Excellent. Turn the engine off. Unload. Excellent. Okay, so 186 miles, 5 hours taken. Didn't seem that long. Uh, 50 gallons. $13,304. Thank you very much. So yeah. Take another look at it. And see what you think. I'll leave uh, a link down below. So you can uh, go and grab it. And uh, and the trailer. Or trailers. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys. And if you've got any questions comments, suggestions, whatever, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to like and share the video because it helps me out with uh, YouTube and gets these videos out, videos out to more and more people. Again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.